welcome back. Um, I have a lot to show you. I have a lot of stuff to show you guys. I'm just gonna stick to makeup and skincare and whatnot today because I have a lot of time. Like my desk right now is filled with stuff to show you guys that I've gotten from PR companies, from my credit card, <laughs> as in I bought it. Um, yeah, a girl, a girl needs to like relax. All right, it's. She's got a party for Central AC. Good news, guys. Central AC is coming to the Riley house. I'm so excited. Um, I had somebody come in yesterday. I've had a bunch of different um, contractors come in, and I found one that can give me the air conditioning that I want and that I need. Because if I need to keep doing videos for you guys, I can't do it in this room in the summer because I have no Central AC. And I was using a fan all last year. It didn't work. One thing that I did pick up is Cinema Secrets. It's Brush cleaner, I use this at Danny's house, I love it. I have a warning to bestow upon my people. I put, what I did is I put down a cloth on my table downstairs and I put a whole bunch of like raggy kind of, you know, this kind of stuff. And then I took a roll of, of a paper towel and then I split up the roll of toilet paper, you know, so I would have all different layers of, you know, that I wipe my uh, brushes on. And then I put this in a, in a little glass bowl. So I'm cleaning my brushes. I'm cleaning my brushes. I'm done. I take all the rags off the table. Somehow some of this seeped through the rag and took the finish off my wood table. I know what you guys are thinking, why did you clean it on a wood table? Well, it was protected. I didn't think that brush cleaner would destroy a freaking wood table. I'm so pissed. Now I have to restore the finish on my wood cleaner. I mean, on my wood table uh, in the basement. Um, I covered it with a candle, <laughs> like I flipped the table around and I covered it with a candle. So I'm not like super upset about it, but like there's no warnings on here, which I read before I started cleaning my brushes. I was like, are there any warnings? Does it uh, destroy anything? But then I read this. It can be used to clean traces of wax, liquid, and powder. Wax. I'm thinking if it can destroy wax, maybe it destroyed the finish on my table. I don't know. I don't know what it did. It didn't destroy the wood or anything, but the finish on my table is shot. So just be careful when using this that you use this on something that can't be destroyed or you protect it with plastic or something. So I, this is an amazing brush cleaner. I absolutely love this so much, but I'm pissed that it ruined my table downstairs. Like pissed to the gills. Pissed to the gills. Okay. Uh, recently there was a VIB sale. I did get some stuff from Sephora. I wound up getting my Estee Lauder Double Wear Cushion Stick Foundation. Now, I did get a new color in this. I got 1C1. I used to use a warm tone, but I felt like it was way too pink and I didn't want to give up on this foundation because, hello, perfect skin when I use it and I don't use primer. I feel like my skin, it looks like I'm not even wearing makeup when I wear this. It's so good, but, um... I didn't like the color match that I had with the other one. So I got this and I love it. And the cool tone in this cuts down in the red of my skin, which the girl that told me that at the JC Penny counter, awesome. So this, this foundation, I bought a new one at Sephora. Yeah, I know what you guys are thinking. What are you talking about, JC Penny? I had gone there for a sample. Do I still have that little sample? I had this little, here it is. Um, a month ago, I went and got a sample of it, of this new color, to um, at JCPenney, and they, they told me about it, how I should try that color, and then I bought it at Sephora for 15% off. I also got a new Makeup Forever HD, Ultra HD. I have been out of this foundation, I want to say like a month and a half. Uh, so upset. I don't normally run out of foundations or let myself run out of foundations, but I ran out, so I got a new one. Yes, I did. When I got my Sephora um, order, what I also did is I got three of these 100 point perks. This is called Triple Sec. And um, this is from Dry Bar. It's like a draw, it's a like a blow dry spray. I wanted to try these. And I know Dry Bar is really good, so I did get three of those because I've been sitting on like over a thousand points forever. It's like how much longer can I be sitting on these points? Like enough is enough. Okay, so let's move on. You know, I got a PR package from Kevin Aquan, yes, and the PR package was amazing. I wanted to show you guys. Oof. They sent me a whole bunch. Uh, first of all, it came in that bag back there, which I'm not gonna take down because I'm too lazy. But it's a cute little tote bag, and they sent me six, six, yeah, six of their molten lip colors. This is what the packaging looks like. 
now that I've shown you guys, I can throw out these damn boxes. Oh, I've been holding the boxes, you know? I've been holding the boxes to show you guys. Because that's what us beauty bloggers do. Let me show you the colors they sent. They sent me uh, rose gold, super pretty. These are super pigmented and um, not sticky sticky. I mean, they have a little bit of stick. It's rose gold. Um, these are a beautiful product. You might want to look into just spending your money on ColourPop, though. I mean, these are really, really pretty. This is in the color Titanium. These are super pretty. But, I mean, for the amount of money that they cost, I don't know that it's really worth spending the money on them. Um, they're really pretty. And if you, the packaging is beautiful. Uh, this color is copper. And they're, they're gorgeous. And the, the staying power is, is stunning. This one is in the color bronze. I like the basic names, though. And I don't know that it's worth spending this much money on these when you could just get them from, like, ColourPop or Milani or something. This one is carbon. I'll tell you right now, I'll never wear carbon. I mean, it's super pretty, but <laughs> do we want my teeth to look orange? Not so much. I'll probably re-gift that one. And this last one is cold gold. There we go. They almost look like liquid eyeshadows, do they not? Am I right? <laughs> so, uh, these are so stunning. So, so stunning. And yeah, we also got this palette from Kevin Aquan. It came in this little velvet pouch, and this is called the, the Neo Setting Powder. Comes in this box. This is absolutely stunning, and I tell you, the first time I used this, I was like, whoa, so pretty. Look at this. Can you guys see it? It's hard because of the, the light, but it's so, so, so pretty. Oh, um, it's a setting powder. It's got a glimmer on it. However, I think the glimmer is only the top coat. I've been dying to try this. Let me see something. I've been dying to see if the, the top coat just comes off. Yeah, no, it still has, it still has a haze. It still has like a sheen. It kind of reminds me of the Hourglass setting powder a little bit, actually. You can just see it, but when you swatch it with that top coat, it's stunning. Like, it's even more beautiful. I wish that top coat was all through it. That's kind of a shame, because then it's just a regular setting powder. But it's all good. It's, it's a super pretty powder. I just wish that top coat was, like, on there. You know, you know who does that, dude? You know who does that? Um, freaking Physicians Formula. They put this amazing top coat on stuff and then you think like the powder is like sent from God and then it's not really sent from God. It's just kind of like, I don't know, made from man. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's it from Kevin Aquan. Uh, let's see what else I've got. I have some stuff from Lancome and they sent me some stuff that I actually never heard of before. Uh, this is the Lancome Matte Shaker. It's a liquid lipstick. Uh, I know Danny just did a review on these, like the Juicy Shakers, but this is the Matte Shaker. Um, yeah, let's let's see what this is about. That's a pretty color. It's just like a little stain, looks like. I really like this little bottle, though. That's cute. This is in the color Pink Powder. No, Pink Power. Pink Power. Oh, so it's kind of like drying down. That's really pretty. It's a nice, pretty stain. I like that. They also sent over the, um, it looks like a sunscreen. It's called Bien Fate UV, Shake Well, Oil Free, uh, Prevent Sunburn. Oh, this is just like a full on sunscreen. That's amazing. Thank you, Lancome. Um, yeah, they just sent over a basic sunscreen, which is great, which you should always be using a sunscreen. It's super important for your skin, you guys. You guys. You know, I always talk about sunscreen and sun protection because number one, I'm super pale. Like, look at my chest. You can almost see my, my rib cage. Not because I'm so skinny, but because my skin is transparent. Um, they also sent over, this is the Peeling Nuet Progressive. Why can't things just be in English? Um, I don't even know what this is. I think this is a face peel. Do you guys know what this is? I don't know what this is. Let's see if it's on the bottle, because Lancome seems to not want to tell me. Um, oh, Progressive Night Peel. Oh, there's two phases. Phase one, phase two. 
Oh, that's really cool. Okay, avoid eye area in case contact with eyes rinse immediately. I'm glad for the warning, but I'd like to know how to use it. Okay, um, oh, here we go. As of the first morning, softer radiant skin. After 14 nights, fine lines appear smoother. And after 28 nights, wrinkles are smooth and pores appear visibly reduced. Um, so you just use this over... I don't know where this left off. But this says not recommended for sensitive skin, which... Sensitive skin. So I'm going to have to find someone that can use that because I don't need to burn my skin because I'm super sensitive. Okay. Is that the way it goes? Oh, you know what, guys? I have a ton of stuff from Elf and Pixie. Oh, let me let's get this big one out of the way because there's a big one down. You see that? What was that? I'm gonna get this big one out of the way because it's down here. This is from Smashbox and Casey Holmes. <gasps> I'm so excited. This was the Casey Holmes collaboration. Let me bring this out for you guys. I have not taken this PR package out of the box because it is gold glitter, okay? Gold glitter is just begging to get all over me and I just, I, I can't, I can't do that right now. I, I can't. So they sent over pearl and gold. I'm loving this packaging by the way. The outside packaging is super pretty. Looks like this. These are really pretty. You guys see I haven't even swatched them yet. I'm doing it with you guys for the first time. Alright, so this is... Per, turn it on pearl, crank it up pearl, and then blow a fuse pearl. They're actually really pretty. They look pretty subtle. They don't look like crazy, crazy like obnoxious highlights, which I really like that. I like that they're natural, but pretty. You know what I mean? Like not full on like, like whoa! You know, like, like the Solstice palette by, um, um, by uh, Sleek. I love that palette, but I mean, you can't wear it every day, you know, because it is so crazy. This is the gold one. Let's see what the gold looks like. I don't know why some people were hating on this. I really like the packaging. I think it's cute, and I think Casey is super classy, so. Uh, turn it on gold, crank it up gold, and blow a fuse gold. Oh, okay, so they're the same names, just different tones. Okay, I'm really not impressed with Turn It On Gold. That one, that one kind of just bombed. Look at that. That one bombed. Uh, okay, this one's much better. This one is, this one is the Crank It Up Gold. And then the Blow A Fuse Gold is pretty. But not super pretty. Okay, the Gold Palette? I'm not, I'm not crazy about this one. I wouldn't say that this one was super good. Um... These seem a little chalky, actually. The the pearl one was really soft and buttery, but the gold one was kind of chalky, if I'm being 100% honest. Sorry, Casey. Um, it's not her fault, um, but this one, the, the pearl one is way better than the gold one. Okay, so that's my quick, my quick two cents. Let me change my battery. That gold palette was a little upsetting, but the Juicy Shaker still looks good. Okay, so ELF has been sending all sorts of PR as always because that's what they do. They send lots of PR. They sent some new skincare, which I'll show you. They sent over the Nourish Oil to Foam Cleanser, and they also sent over a moisturizing, illuminating moisturizer, which I love these kinds of products. Uh, a hydrating water essence. That's cool. I like that because I do like the Smashbox water and Hydrogel under sh under eye masks. So that came on over. Um, if you guys would like reviews on any of those things, please let me know. And they also sent me over just like a box of rando goodies like this. Um, I'm not really going to open this up. A friend of mine is obsessed with e.l.f. So I just kind of, you know, send that her way. They sent over some liquid um, I, um, eye makeup and uh, they sent over some cream eye makeup and some lip oils which I don't really want to open. So next I got some PR from Pixie. Now this is kind of like a new company to be sending me PR. They sent it to me for the last few months. Um, they sent me over some face mists which is pretty cool. This one is the vitamin makeup mist. I've got the Glow Mist, it's like covered in dust, the Makeup Fixing Mist, what is this, Rose Water and Green Tea, and the Hydrating Mist, what does this do, 
let's check this one out. Okay. This one, all over setting mist prolongs makeup and keeps it from moving, melting, or settling into fine lines. Okay, so if you spray before makeup, it extends the makeup wear. After makeup, it sets the makeup. So I'm definitely going to be trying that. And Pixie also sent over some face care as well, some gl um, glow mud cleanser. And then we've got um, some glow tonic to go exfoliating toner pads, which is awesome. And some overnight glow serum. So I guess these are all new from Pixie. And uh, we'll be trying those. So I get so much skincare, guys. Like, I don't know, skincare companies just see that, like, I'm the Crypt Keeper. I want to send me shit. I know, I know. Some of you are going to get offended by that. Like, I don't know what to tell you. I'm 37 years old. I'm allowed to call myself the Crypt Keeper if I like. Oh, oh duh. Elf also sent me some fragrance free cleansing wipes. I forgot to show you that. Um, I also got this company from Shea Moisture. I mean, I got this PR from this company, Shea Moisture. Um, they sent me a, a shampoo and conditioner that is downstairs right now because Matt is using it. I couldn't use it with my hair, so Matt's using it because he has super dry hair. But they also sent me some um, uh, thermoprotectant milk. And then let's see, some argan oil. And then some smooth and tame blowout cream, marshmallow root extract, and cherry moya. So, I don't know if you guys have ever heard of Shea Moisture. If you have, let me know. I have never actually heard of the company. Milk Cosmetics had sent me um, this thing right here. This, which I really, really like, actually. Um, it's good. I wear this when I don't wear foundation. Like, I'll just put that on my pores. And they sent me this really cool mirror. I mean, it's really heavy duty. It's like stainless steel on the back. Ooh, Samantha, you look so, so beautiful. Well, that's it. That's all I got for you. That's uh, my big old haul. I'm so grateful for every company that sends me stuff that I can use and show you guys and tell you about and sample with you guys and give you reviews. Um, if you don't follow me on Snapchat, please follow me here on Snapchat because you'll see a lot of things on there that I don't post on other social media like Instagram and on YouTube. So um, no, no, that's gone. That's gone 24 hours. Just like that. Okay? Just like that. So that's it. All right, I love you guys. Uh, thank you for tuning in. As always, please subscribe to my channel. Uh, hit that notification button so you get told when I upload new videos. Hit the thumbs up because it helps me out. And I'll see you guys next time. Okay, guys. Bye.